Really? Universe is, oh, Universe is health. Never mind. He has a lot of mana and health. He has a bottle and a salve. Yeah, he's screwed. Oh, Alright, well, there's the first magic first. missile into a concoction. We have some TP support from Dance Girl who has a grave to save him just for a little bit. I don't know if it's gonna be enough because the cogs are here. It's a 3v1. They're gonna try to get a consolation kill on Universe. Universe should just run away at this point. He might go down regardless of the fact. They're gonna get the Jakiro. Universe will live to see another day, and here comes the concoction on top of Vanscor. Magic missile to fall. This is a double kill going the way of EG. Health regen, if nothing else. If we have a hook shot. Top lane, Galbuck's gonna find his death. Easy kill. Even with the nightmare, he can't even get off anything other than the brain set, which is only the low level. Oh, here comes the dunk. Yes, very, very nice call there. <laughs> even in a pub game. Well, nobody denies the puppies. I don't know what I'm talking about. We have a double smoke here. PPD and Universe are going to find Gallblack. Gets hookshot. Battery salt into the cogs. Vanscore is here with the grave to save Gallblack's life. Or at least hold on to it for a little bit longer. Universe, here comes Jakira with that macro fire. PPD going to TP out. So far, nobody has died. And Arteezy is the one that gets turned on. Great support here from Na'Vi. Yes. They do have Amplify damage, and Huskar is really good in his own right at killing Rush. But so far, they haven't really shown any intentions. PPD gonna stun Godlike. They're gonna see that this stack is being farmed. Oh, that's a grip! Oh, he's going for the grip. Here comes Dendi. Alchemist is gonna get a stun, but it's gonna be on Godlike. Dendi's just gonna jump in. Easy kill going his way. Kavos looking for the Alchemist. Can they get the stun off? He's in the fog! Oh, they don't even see him. I didn't even know. Because it means that EG are already planning for the late game. You could you could get the oh Zai, speaking of which, is probably Can he deny himself? Bad. No, he's healing too much for his own. Good! Gets the stun off on Goblack. Rocket yeah. to follow from the is that minus eleven armor I think? No more. Minus thirteen even actually. Uh, Dandy TP's out the resolution gets gamed right afterwards. Good awareness from EG. It's gonna be another easy kill this time going there where Blade Mail picked up on Clockwork. Very nice. Is this gonna be an Ethereal Blade at some point? Or just burst magic damage? Because remember with Ghost Scepter you can't attack in it anymore with the burning spears. But because the Ethereal Blade was changed, we have initiation on Zai in the mid lane. Is there going to be any support? No, they're just leaving him to die. It's like, you bought a Midas, you die. You in the meantime, bottom lane. Kabosh is going to find Universe. He pops BKB. Universe pops the blade. Now it's not going to do anything with that BKB activated. And Kabosh just rips him through. Zai stuns himself. Oh boy. That's not good. And he's just going to drop. Like a fat pig that he is. Against the slaughter, which it's like a lot of the times, I believe I have talked about this before. Oh, Dendi. This oh. could be an extended fight. The right clicks of Doom, Dendi, you are dead. Well, the Ops is Ghost Scepter. It's going to heal up thanks to the inner vitality, but get stunned, and then the right clicks continue. Is he going to be able to get a constellation kill? No fear! Yes, okay, they do trade themselves finally. So it takes two to kill Huskar right now. Which what is a good news for Nami, I suppose. Aegis expiration, though. Oh, but yeah, right, I forgot it. about the Aegis. Yeah, that is so true. Kavos is going to initiate on the Universe. Zai actually gets a stun off on an enemy this this time. Blade Mail's popped by, by Universe. They're just going to attempt to run away. PPD might find his doom. Yeah, the Bash is going to ensure that. Necessarily, the thing about him is the second life with... The life without the BKB, I think, isn't just... It's just not good enough. But on the other hand, I guess they're expecting Dendi to not die in the first place fear. Oh, this is trouble for him. Yeah, do they yes. have grip? Oh, there it is. Grip. Oh, beautifully done. Is this going to be enough? Here comes Huskar, though. They surround him. They berate him. It's at his peak, but Weave is not that reliable. Oh, no. They're oh, really going aggressive. They're going to try to go for high ground now. And TP like support this. is here from EG. Here goes the Macro Fire into an Ice Path Alchemist. Already at half HP and already dead. That might is not helping you no out this time. No buyback, that's not good. There's only one, only a couple buybacks, one for each, uh, each team. Arteezy being the main important one there for EG. And the tower's dead. Kavos still has the Aegis. Yeah, I don't see why not here. They gotta force out a fight from EG. EG's gotta do something eventually, right? They're just gonna give this up, though. Oh, here comes the swap. It's a little bit too late for the rack. The Slardar, he has the Aegis from him. He's gonna come back to like here with the Universe Initiation with the Blade Mill. He just dies right away, though. PPD in the meantime, as well. Nightmare, questionable usage, doesn't really matter. Drops dead like a rock. Navi's still alive and strong. They're gonna get this range right. And I think because of these deaths, they can even go for more if they really want to. Not sure why the Initiation came after the Rax was dead but we'll leave that for another discussion. Okay, we're going to discuss it now. <laughs> oh, actually, no, they're going to go on for this, this yeah, tier 3. Going on. 20 three seconds on five. left. Eventual Spear and Clock. And Clockwork's ult is going to be actually going to be up basically by the time he's up. Armlet now picked up by Arteezy. 
Concoction's gonna connect with Chavosa. Here comes Fiora! <laughs> he gets used in the middle of a pounce. I don't think I've ever seen that. He's gonna get destroyed right after that. 60 seconds on the sideline, no buyback. They should be able to get a second rack here. Beautiful initiation from Chavosa. Resolution there to help out. Arteezy, half HP. Can he get off anything? No. Negative 50 armor. I just assume that's the case. GG's for EG. And they again lose a Luxembourg. They are O for the world on European servers in this tournament. Yeah, there, there were a couple of moments in that where I think you could say that definitely some sort of some of the decision making there was was not as crisp as it could have been for them. I think Navi, however, also played a really good game and executed their strat well. But you're right, EG continue to go. They're now 0 and 6 on Luxembourg.